Hi, my name is Stephanie Norberg. We're here at BWAC and we're here with Pedro Troncoso and he is currently in the Black and White exhibition and has several works in this show. Well, thank you for having me in this wonderful show. Um, the history behind these paintings are basically my own experience from my transition to childhood to adulthood. Mm -hmm. It was like my response to a question that I have always, I've always asked to myself, like, why do we, as we grow up, lose our essence and our inner um, genuine side because of the social patterns and the stereotypes and like the many pressures that we get as we grow? Mm -hmm. And sometimes they are a little bit pointless, but we still m make them. So with my work, I try to challenge those patterns and those um, expectations that we have um, for us as adults. And I use my family members um, because I think they grew up with me. They were like in my process in that transition. Mm -hmm. And I use them like the subject matter of my paintings to um, bring back some memories and some thoughts, ideas that I used to have as a kid. So, yeah. So innocence is pretty like tapping back into that like childhood innocence is pretty important for like the content behind the painting. Yeah, it's like bringing back um, some type of atmosphere mm -hmm. back then that remind us what we were and what we have lost mm. and kind of decide if we want to keep losing that or if we actually want to think more about that because we cannot be children again. Like it's impossible to be a child again. Yeah. But I think we should reconsider uh, where are we going to? Like, okay, we won't be child again, but how much of an adult I'm going to be? And what does that mean? Um, so I usually bring back uh, in terms of uh, the technique and the, mm -hmm. and the colors from my kindergarten days, for example, and the crayons. I also use sometimes uh, tissue paper, like colorful paper that we used to have in <laughs> back in, in the school, Yeah. making like little uh, crafts and stuff like that. And it's kind of to um, balance it with a more realistic, more uh, serious portrait and create that tension in between the two worlds and hopefully yeah. get some thoughts out of both of them. Yeah, you can definitely feel that tension between like the current day like as an adult back with you know juxtaposition between adulthood and childhood because you have a lot of those like colorful colors and like kind of remind me of like trapper keepers like when you would just like totally like doodle on top of it um sketches that you would have as a kid like kind of that line quality work which is really awesome that you pair those two things together yeah i like that i like connections in between um um contrasting uh, elements um, mm -hmm. so one of the things that I have been a victim of is writing down my plans writing down like all my notes and things I have to do uh, in, in post-its like sticky notes yeah <laughs> and these formats are kind of inspired by that idea of writing all your stressful responsibilities but in this case I wanted to put on top of it um, that tension uh, created by the responsibilities. So I wanted to mix it with um, an aesthetic that is um, more childish, but also with the part of being an adult, because I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in both worlds at the same time. So I don't know, it was like writing down my plans, but in a more um, artistic way, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah, it's like processing that transition of like going into adulthood like the portraits are like how you're seeing things now, but oh, it, like bringing back or bringing into the future like memories from the past. Exactly, and so. I think they are developing, they are becoming something more open, more mm -hmm. relatable, because as I'm talking about myself in these paintings, I believe it's, uh, it's an experience that we all have, because I have friends who have been not even studying what they want because I don't know, their parents are not okay with it. And like, yeah, there's a lot of like restrictions and conditions. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. why can't you just um, stick um, faithful to who you are and yeah. what you want to become? Because, okay, we're adults, we're more smart, but sometimes things just 
don't make sense maybe as much as as they didn't when we were kids so it's kind of like it has some similarities that we pretend to ignore and we pretend to just be superheroes as adults and doing <laughs> yeah and pretend that, like we have everything together yeah, when we're still we still have that inner child in us and we're still processing and like yeah yeah <laughs> figuring out how to navigate life exactly and it's all about learning it's all about being open it's all about mm -hmm. breaking realities um and, and preconceptions about what we think about our surroundings and about ourselves so that's kind of the idea i have behind this um, paintings and the conversations I want to create when uh, when someone looks at them it's yeah. like another um, dimension um, to consider and to change our mindset about what we do how we act what we want to be in the future yeah so yeah <laughs> yeah you did a really beautiful job of like layering all those concepts into these into these paintings thank you like there's a lot of depth to them thank you <laughs> Thank you so much for coming here and talking with us about your work. And it was really amazing hearing all the themes and the processes and just the thoughts and inspiration behind your studio practice. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me in this amazing show. It will definitely be one of my most memorable uh, shows because of how the works are interacting to each other. Um, so you guys can follow me and my um, the process behind it where I post like my sketchbooks and ideas and sometimes some selfies on Instagram in I was Pedro. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>